Hi, my name is John Kelsey. I'm National Trainer for Hard Hat Industry Solutions. This is a session from our Red Rhino Academy, our complete training course in electrical estimating using Red Rhino software. Welcome to our session, How to Take Off Branch Circuits. In this session, we cover how to do a material takeoff for branch circuit conduits, then enter the materials into Red Rhino estimating software. If you've not watched our session, How to Take Off Conduit, please watch that session first. This one is more advanced and builds on the previous session. There's a difference between doing branch circuit material takeoff and feeders takeoff. By definition, branch circuits use conduit which is one inch or smaller, whereas feeder conduit uses conduits size inch and a quarter and larger. Using Red Rhino estimating software, the real time saving feature is that you can enter multiple conduit runs all at the same time. In this example, we'll take off and input several branch conduit runs simultaneously. To complete this training segment, I'll be using a project drawing, Rhino material takeoff sheet, and a Scalex to measure the conduit run on the drawing. If you do not own a Scalex, you should buy one. You can get them online. Let's take a closer look at the project drawing. The drawing shows a top view of a building containing one electrical panel and branch circuit conduits feeding receptacles on the walls. There are several different sizes of EMT conduit plus 12-2 and 12-3 MC cable runs. I will demonstrate how to take off the conduits and transfer the information to Red Rhino. To better understand what the two-dimensional drawing represents, I'll also use a three-dimensional drawing of the same building. This is not a view you'd normally have available on your project blueprints, but we will use it because it shows how the conduit runs out of the top of the panels to the junction boxes. From the junction boxes, the circuits extend in MC cable to the devices. Blueprints do not give three-dimensional detail, but oftentimes when a drawing shows a home run, it shows it with a curly Q arrow illustrating which circuits are running home or to the panel. I'll use the three-dimensional drawing to illustrate how the conduit is installed. When doing a conduit takeoff, you must include the length of the conduit risers. This was explained in previous sessions. Refer to them if you do not know what a conduit riser is. Now here are the conduit risers which are the conduits that run up or down. Conduit risers are not depicted on a normal blueprint or drawing, but you must account for them. I will account for the conduit risers by overrolling the scale X, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. These are the risers right here. Now we'll consider the 90 degree elbows or 90 degree bends. If you do not take off or let me, I should say, you do not take off elbows for branch circuits. You don't take them off. This is one difference between take off for branch conduit and take off for feeder conduit. Branch conduit elbows are field bends, so you do not count them or enter them into Red Rhino. We also need to consider wire makeup for branch circuit takeoff. Wire makeup is the length of wire needed to extend past the ends of the conduit to the termination point. We, uh, I should say, wire makeup must be included to capture the cost of the wire. In this case, at the electric panel, the wire would extend past the end of the conduit to terminate to the circuit breakers. At the junction boxes, the wire must extend out far enough to make up the devices. In electrical panels, the makeup should be about three feet, at junction boxes about one foot. To calculate wire makeup length, you use the average length of both ends. In this example, we'll, we'll set the makeup at two feet. Now let's look at the material takeoff sheet or form we're using. It's filled out with the conduit information shown on the drawings. You can see the material descriptions that we discussed. Returning to the drawing, and before you start, you set up your scale X to the scale which matches your project drawings. Pretend my computer pointer is a scale X while I demonstrate how to take off conduit. Since several conduits on this drawing are the same, conduit size and type, with the same number of conductors, I can take them off and enter them into Red Rhino in one entry using the conduit wizard. I'll take off conduit at right angles to allow enough conduit and wire to go around obstacles or obstructions in the building. I also allow for conduit riser by over rolling past the end of the conduit run. When you roll past it, the scale X adds extra length to your count. 
for consistency. I take off branch circuits in a specific order. I start by taking off EMT conduit, then I, and I take all of the EMT conduit off, then I take off all the MC cable. Now it doesn't matter what order you take it off as long as you do it in the same order every time. I just circled the uh, uh, circuits that I'll take off first, A7, 9, and 12. I'll roll them off first with a scale X. Notice that I overroll slightly to cover the length of conduit riser, which is the conduit going up or down from the outlets or panel. Also, notice how I roll over the path of the conduit at a right angle. I do not need to take off couplings, connectors, or supports. Red Rhino will add those materials for us. It's important to understand that I measure and record and write down on the takeoff sheet the total length of runs of all the same size and same number of wires. Next I write the footage calculated by the scale X on the takeoff sheet. I reset the scale X to zero and get ready to measure the next run. Since I'm using a virtual scale X you can't see the run uh, or the length of run, but here it is on the takeoff sheet. I wrote it down 330 feet of half inch EMT with three number 12 wires. Again, notice on the left side, under material column, it shows half inch EMT with three number 12s. And to the right, 330 feet. Below that, I write the number of runs, which is two. Next is the makeup length, which is two feet. Finally, the application, which is 10 feet. And then at the far right, I display the total quantity. Now back to the drawing to measure the next run. I make sure to reset the scale X to zero to measure the next conduit runs. I notice that the conduit feeding circuits A2 and 4 plus circuits A6 and 8 would require half inch EMT with four number 12s, so I take that off next. I'll circle it here. So I'll take off those runs next. When all the half inch EMT conduits are taken off, I start on the three quarter inch conduits. You get my point here? You take off each conduit size with different number of wires of conductors, but you take off all like for like conduits with the same size and type wires all at one time. When using Red Rhino Conduit Wizard, you can input thousands of feet of conduit simultaneously in just a few seconds. You can literally input all the half inch EMT conduit runs with three number 12 wires for the entire job in one single entry into Red Rhino. Now I know I'm belaboring this point, but if you understand how to take off branch conduit correctly, you'll double your estimating speed when you're estimating projects. Again, I roll the scale X over the path of the conduit at a right angle and over roll slightly to cover the conduit riser. This time I'm going to say the total length of run here, I'll roll these both off, I'm going to say that the total length of run for half inch conduit with four number 12s is 210 feet. Next I write the information on the takeoff sheet. Now I will not show the takeoff sheet this time because I'm sure you get it from previous examples. Once all the half inch EMT is completed, I've moved on to do the three quarter runs. I would take off circuits one, three, and five next. I will not demonstrate how to roll it off because you because I should say I'll not de demonstrate how to roll it off because I believe you have enough examples of rolling off EMT conduit. I made an entry on the takeoff sheet for 130 feet of three quarter inch EMT with five number 12 wires. Next I would measure the MC cable. Let's say that the conduit feeding from outlet to outlet on this drawing is MC cable. You roll it off the same as EMT conduit. You roll off all the 12-2 MC cable, then all the 12-3, 12-4, and so on. You write the total length on the material takeoff sheet as well, showing the number of runs and application. Now again, I won't demonstrate doing the takeoff for MC cable because I, I, I believe you have enough examples to do that. 
Now this is the material takeoff shade. Down here you'll see the MC cable. On the takeoff sheet I wrote 160 feet of 12.2, six runs, and 105 feet of number 12.3. Over at the right, the total amount of footage. This concludes our takeoff portion of this session. We will now move to Red Rhino to show you how your Brant circuit takeoff information is entered into Red Rhino estimating software. I will assume you watched the training session on conduit takeoff, which precedes this. If not, please view that first. From the home page, we go down to the third box on the left and click View My Estimates. This is the estimate list. I click on the estimate that I want to work on, Sample Estimate for Conduit Wizard Training. In the estimate, the section name is called Sample Section for Conduit Wizard Training. I click on Edit Takeoff to start inputting materials into Rhino. Again, here's the takeoff sheet. I will enter each run separately, starting with half-inch EMT conduit with three number 12 wires. Or in this case, 330 feet of conduit and two runs. I will now use the conduit wizard. I click on the Wizards button and select Conduit Wizard. The wizard pops up. This is where the conduit run information is entered from the takeoff sheet. I click on the material dropdown and select EMT. I check and see that the size dropdown is already set at half inch. Below the size it says Style. I'm going to leave the setting at SS Diecast, which means Set Screw Diecast Type Fittings. Next at the top right of the pop up, I click Find. That populates the correct material down below. I set the application at 10 feet, like the conduit is going to be installed above 10 feet off the floor. Again, applications refer to the level of difficulty of the conduit run, and the program has more labor built in for more difficult runs. In the run length box, I type in 330 for 330 feet of conduit. I click the, into the number of runs and type in the number 2. Next, since the wire dropdown is already set for number 12 stranded, and that's the size and type wire I want to use, I click the number of I click in the number of box to the right and type in three for three wires. I check the makeup box and enter two feet for makeup length. I do not enter elbows for branch circuit conduit because they're field bent. Next at the top of the pop-up I click the add button. This will populate the materials to the takeoff sheet. Next, I click the Save button at the top of the page to save my work. This is what was just entered. I've explained all this in previous sessions. Red Rhino shows the price of each item with extended price and shows the total labor at the far right that it takes to install the total length or total materials. The Conduit Wizard has added couplings, connectors, supports, and total footage of wire needed. Here's another important point. Every time you make an entry, check that entry to make sure it's reasonable. Check every line entered to ensure the labor hours and material prices make sense on your experience. This program does not know how your crew will perform when installing. It's designed to show results which can be adjusted based on your good judgment. If you look at the total labor in the extended labor column and determine that it would take more time to install conduit or pull wire, you would add wire, and, or, or rather you would add labor, and you'd add labor by clicking the Add Labor button. I will not demonstrate inputting the other EMT runs, as I believe you understand how to input them from this demonstration or previous demonstrations. Back to the takeoff sheet for further explanation how to use this form. In order to keep track of what was input into Rhino and what was not, check off the items at the far right of the page when you input them into Red Rhino. Next I'll demonstrate how to input MC cable into Red Rhino. 
the takeoff sheet shows 160 feet of 12-2 MC and six runs. I get the conduit wizard on my screen. I click on the material drop down and select MC. Next, I click the size drop down, scroll down to the bottom. You'll notice that here are where the various MC cable is located. There's 12 2, 12 3, 12 4, 10 2, 10 3, etc. I'll select 12 2 MC cable. Next, at the top right hand side of the pop up window, I click Find, and that populates the correct material down below products. Next I will set the application. This time I set the application at normal because the MC cable is below six feet from the floor. Again applications refer to how the conduit is to be installed. The program has additional labor built in for more difficult conduit runs. I click in the run length box and type 160 for the total footage of MC cable. I click in the number of runs box and type in the number six. I do not have to deal with wire drop downs for sizing wire or with a makeup box. I leave them as is. Note that the support default is set at 5 feet, so the program is going to add a support for every 5 feet of MC cable entered. Next, at the top of the pop up, I click the Add button. This will populate the materials to the takeoff sheet. Next, I click the Save button at the top of the page. This is what I just entered. I've explained all this in previous sessions. Red Rhino shows the price of each item with extended price and shows the total labor at the far right that it takes to install all the total materials. I will not demonstrate inputting the 12.3 MC cable as you input that the same as the 12.2. With this we conclude our training session on Red Rhino's conduit wizard and have shown how to enter multiple conduit circuits or multiple circuit runs. We saw how quickly and efficiently the conduit wizard allows you to input materials to estimate multiple conduit runs simultaneously. Our conduit wizard greatly speeds up the estimating process. This is John Kelsey saying goodbye for now. Thank you for joining me in this session of Red Rhino Academy.